Hello, thought I'd do something a little different, go through an unedited, <coughs> unedited version of uh, what you expect with the FA-38. Um, went through four design iterations to come up with this one. Um, uh, one of my w one of my favorite VTOL craft now, um, as you can see, fairly well balanced. Um, ha has a number of turbofan uh, vertical thrusters there. Um, you know, set up such that the, you know, as you can see here as I flip it around, um, you can see the, the center center of uh, weight and balance uh, is right there in between the, the array of thrusters uh, for vertical lift. So uh, th this ends up being a, a very nice craft. Um, nice fifth generation design. Um, you know, you might recognize that wing geometry from, you know, nuances from, uh, you know, the Sukhoi 5th Gen fighter, uh, as well as the F-22, YF-23, um, but with, you know, throw in this, uh, this vertical lift capability. Um, just going through some of these action groups, um, you know, I use my standard um, one flip-on um, afterburners, uh, two and three are the important ones, toggle main engine, where three is the, the vertical engine. But um, getting right into it, <coughs> uh, taking a little flight demo. Uh, you can kind of see here, I, I haven't edited anything in the video, so you can get an idea of what to expect. But uh, I think we're going to start off. The craft comes out, um, space bar to activate uh, vertical thrusters, turn on SAS, key T, uh, we're going to put the brakes on, and go full throttle. <coughs> Uh, thrust weight ratio on this is greater than 2.0, so at half throttle, um, this thing hovers fairly nicely. So after immediate liftoff, gear up and bring it down to half throttle, and you can see it's kind of leveling out, and we can move it around fairly nicely. I think I'm going to take it over to the uh, to the assembly building here, and uh, we'll, we'll try a landing right off the bat, uh, just to see get an idea, you know, how it uh, hit handles coming into land. Again, I'm, you know, adjusting I'm slightly below half throttle, so it's either at a hover or on approach. Uh, right now, air brakes are on, uh, as well as that would also cover your wheel brakes. So once I deploy the landing gear, uh, we'll have brakes on, keep it from rolling when it hits on the, the helo pad. So gear down, and we're going to knock it down a little bit on the thrust, nose back, controls the forward momentum a little bit, and uh, you can see this, uh, you know, those reaction wheels that I have. Uh, you know, there on the fuselage, do a fairly nice job of keeping this thing steady. And with a 2.0 or greater thrust weight ratio, you know, you don't have too much fear of pancaking. So it makes it for a very controllable craft. So we apply a little yaw um, and just bring it down for a controlled vertical landing. And there it is. Simple. <coughs> so we can take brakes off, leave them on either way. Um, full throttle. And we're back in the air, gear up, brake off. And we'll do space bar, engage main engine, and key one to toggle afterburner and it makes the transition into you know, conventional flight pretty easily you notice the radiator panels there on the bottom um, they automatically kick in with the afterburner when they get engaged um, you can see the um, cooling there at 15 16 percent um, normally you'd have to flip that on I like to turn it on in conjunction with the afterburners um, you know, this is a very 
uh, over-controlled aircraft, I guess, you know, fifth generation, you got to have the T-key for SAS enabled, otherwise uh, it can be a little squirrely, you can over-control it. Um, but that, that, that seems like a, a normal thing of fifth gen fighters, you got uh, fly-by-wire uh, helping you out. Basically, it, it, you can point the nose any direction you want at any speed, so you can you know, if you flip it around quick enough, you can basically be pointing the nose backwards, flying backwards. So you got to be a little bit controlled in your turns. Um, but other than that, it flies very nice. Uh, you can see very stable, um, considering that it doesn't have, uh, you know, vertical fins. Uh, it doesn't seem to have a problem with yaw. Um, on these bank turns, uh, maintains control very nicely. Um, inputs on the you know, on the elevators and and uh, ailerons uh, and the forward actuating um, part of the wing d it doesn't cause it to go crazy out of control at any point in time. And here we're setting up for just a, a standard conventional uh, conventional landing. So air brakes on, gear down. As the gear come down, you'll see the flaps deploy, and it floats. Uh, it floats a long way. Um, I'm going to try to keep this in the air for a while, but you know, I'm coming in really fast. Uh, 100, 100 meters a second is uh, too fast for this aircraft. This thing lands at about 40 meters per second, but uh, you'll see with full brakes on, flaps down, it bleeds off speed fairly nicely, and it comes floating in. You can keep it airborne for, for quite a while. You can see it's probably going to be around 40 or 50 when the wheels touch and man it just it just greases the ground there so very nice handling craft on both takeoffs and landings right around 40 meters per second is uh, you know, your rotation speed so gear up little roll uh, well there we are flipping it around way too fast uh, you can see it's happy to oblige it'll point the nose in whatever direction you tell it but uh, you know keep in mind that 40 meters per second is what you need to stay off the ground, so, you know, just control it, and we'll take it around for, for a little bit. It's just a really fun little craft to fly. This is some of the low speed flight characteristics here. We're in almost a perpendicular turn and you know fairly low speed we're in the 50 60 meters per second range um, go ahead and kick on the cut the main engine key two key three for the key three for the uh, vertical thrusters and hey why not it uh, it made easy work of the big helipad what about this this little helipad here uh, really test the control and stability of the aircraft with this. If I can put it on the top of that that little building helipad, that's uh, that's fairly impressive, particularly in a in a case where I'm not going back and editing and hitting restart uh, several times. So it breaks on again. That should lock up the wheels when it hits the ground shouldn't roll so uh, you know, apply a little roll here to bring it to the right nose up adjust forward momentum a little bit and uh, you know I'm controlling this with a with a throttle uh, joystick but I you know the my main joystick doesn't work so I'm just I'm just hit using keys keyboard here to to move this thing around and man it's just it's just rock solid. Um, you know, here I am, right around one third to one half throttle, and uh, you know, making a fairly nice approach. You know, on this little helipad. Oh, and get down. Well, that was close, but uh, it made it. Uh, but definitely gives you an idea that um, you know the the ability to control this thing is there. Um, uh, it's a great little design. I. I like it. Uh, I think on my VTOLs from now on, I'm going to look for a 2.0 or greater uh, thrust weight ratio in order to, to mimic that that capability. But uh, back throttle up, you know, vertical lift off, 
Um, wants to nose back a little bit, so we'll cut the key three, cut that, cut the vertical engines and key two for main engines and key one for afterburner. And uh, we're flying again. Yeah, you do have to watch yourself on the, the controls on this one. You, you, gradual movements are what you want. You can, you can quickly throw this thing um, tail first if you yank back hard enough. Those wings uh, with those forward actuating, even though I've dialed them back quite a bit, um, you, you really can put the tail out in front of the nose pretty fast. So here we're going to demonstrate, um, you know, yet another VTOL. Is that two, three VTOL landings in one shot? But coming in fast, uh, hit the brakes, and we're going to do a Cobra maneuver and throttle up on our thrusters, which will bring us almost to an immediate stop. And uh, throttle back. We're going to drop pretty rapidly right here in front of the in front of this, uh, I don't know what you call this, the building next to the to the SPH hangar. For some reason I like to always stop my flights right there by that little sidewalk next to the tower. Um, but that's our target. So we're going to come in and drop hopefully right next to that and we'll let Jeb come out and uh, show you how the, the ladder works. and. Uh, We'll call this a successful flight demo of the F-838. Not going to explain how Jeb got his hands on a Kirkonian piece of hardware, but, uh, you know, if they give me a, a, an update that has a, a Skull Island uh, evil layer, then I'll fly from there next time. But that's it, and uh, we came pretty close to our landing spot. There's Jeb, and I don't attach hotkeys to ladders so open that up and he comes down and that's it thanks for watching